Hey, and, ben? Yep. Um, I have a question about the um, cancer cells being able to turn on autophagy. Yeah. Because I understand that fasting is supposed to be very good for cancer suppression. And I'm wondering if you know anything about the balance of those two. So I, I will move on to this quote um, and answer your question partly with this. So emerging evidence suggests that preservation of cellular fitness by autophagy may be key to tumor suppression. So the idea is that if you can keep tumors low, keep them, their numbers down, the numbers of cells low, um, by keeping autophagy on, then you won't have tumors that are big enough to need to turn it on themselves. So most of the time that tumors are turning on autophagy, it's in the center of these larger tumors where they're far away from the blood supply. They're not getting a lot of nutrients, so they turn on autophagy to help themselves survive. If you can suppress tumors to the point that they don't get to that point, that's, um, that's the, the key. Um, it's that old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So what's the difference in autophagy created by a healthy cell versus autophagy created by a cancer cell? So it is exactly the same. Um, cancer cells are not um, always very good at inventing new things. There are some cases where they invent new things, but most of the time they just take processes that are in every cell and repurpose it at the wrong time. So metastasis in cancer is um, a perfectly normal process. Cells move around the body all the time, um, but they don't normally move at that, you know, in that way. And so migrating cells are not bad. It's the way the tumor is utilizing it that's bad. And the same is true here. So it's, a, it's the perfectly normal process. It's just inappropriately on. I, I think it's really interesting. And this is, this is part of the reason we wanted to do this talk is you know people tend to think autophagy, it's this hot word right now. It's all you know amazing for cancer prevention and for all these things. And that's true in certain cases. And that's true, um, generally speaking, especially as, it, as Ben was saying, as it pertains to prevention. Um, but it's not 100% true. There's nuance to this. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important to understand that nuance um, and to understand the complexity of it. Uh, because it, it can be easy to think of it, it, it and it's often described, right? The, the book club book we're doing this month is called The Switch. It makes it seem like it's just this, this very straightforward on or off thing. Um, but it's it, the ways in which it impacts our body is, is quite complex.